uh, this video is going to show you what to do when your lab kit arrives uh, in the mail. So the first thing to do, um, open up the box and then uh, do a quick inventory of the material that you need. Um, when you receive your kit, the first thing to do will be to get your bacterial cultures growing. Um, and so the only bag that you'll need for uh, your first day of lab work, um, I emptied it, but it's called the Micro Quick Full Set. And in that contains your lyophilized bacteria. So it's the living bacteria in powdered form. And it also contains some growth media. Um, the other thing that you will want to get out before you get started is this plastic white thing, um, which is going to become your test tube wrap. When you are doing lab work, you're going to find that sometimes you just never have enough fingers to hold everything you need to hold. And so using your test tube rack can be really helpful. Um, in a pinch, you could also use a cup or something like that to hold uh, your, your test tubes as well. Um, and so once you set up your test tube rack, um, you are ready to begin. And like I said, the goal of day one is to take your powdered bacteria, the lyophilized bacteria, and get it growing in liquid culture again. These bacteria take um, a couple of days to adjust to their surroundings, to get a feel for their new environment before they're growing really well. And you want them growing well before you conduct any additional experiments with them. Um, and so we are going to follow the instructions that came in your kit. Uh, the instructions are called the reactivation of a micro quick culture. Um, and one of the first things it tells you to do put on your heat, your personal protective equipment, and wipe down your working surface with bleach. Now, I have already done that, um, but if you haven't, you might want to go ahead and clear the table, clear the surface of whatever you're working on, and wipe it down with a, a bleach or a Lysol wipe, something like that. Um, and then I am going to put on gloves as well. And your kit should have come um, with several gloves, so after you use one pair, um, you can dispose of them and you'll use another pair for the next set. So now you're ready to begin and uh, reactivate your bacterial cultures. Um, depending on the kit that you're sent, you'll um, have a different number of bacterial species. Um, the kit that I'm using has four different species, four different bacteria types. And so we want to keep them separate. Um, and this video will walk you through how to do one. Uh, and then you can repeat that for the other bacterial species that you have, okay? So following along with our instructions, um, the first thing that we want to do is take out our uh, culture. And then we also want to have our culture medium available, which is in this media tube set. And I haven't opened it up yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. When you do that, you see that this set has um, some auger slants and then some broth as well. For these experiments, for reactivating our cultures, we want to go into the broth uh, culture. So this is what you want to use. Um, and ultimately, we will be pipetting some of the broth into the tube and then using that liquid uh, culture now to transfer everything back into the tube. So the next thing that you want to grab is a sterile transfer pipette. It's also a good idea maybe to have a, a designated um, dirty area on your bench where you can put anything that needs to be disposed of when you're done using. And the first step is to uh, remove the metal seal on these tubes. Um, at the top of this vial, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an arrow. And if you go to the back of the arrow, there's a little bit of a groove uh, that you can start lifting the metal from. You kind of have to get under it just a little bit, but you can lift the metal like that and then continue to pull and then kind of pull it to one side. So here we're almost done getting the metal off and then pull it to the side. You want to leave the rubber stopper on because we want our bacteria to stay um, uncontaminated. So now we have removed the metal. This can be disposed of and we have our rubber stopper, okay? Keep in mind, bacteria are in here, so we wanna be careful not to be reckless with where we place this metal stopper um, and stay aseptic in our technique, if at all possible. 
So we, um, we have our, this is E. coli that we're using, and I'm just gonna loosen the rubber stopper on it and then set it down gently so that it's still um, not being exposed to the air. But I'm gonna set that down while I then loosen the cap on my liquid media. Once again, when I put, um, I loosened the cap, but when I put it back on, I'm using this as a holder. I just set it gently, so it'll be easy to remove the cap once again. And then I'm also gonna open up my sterile transfer pipette. So now I'm gonna take my sterile transfer pipette and I'm going to go in as sterile as possible. So if you can use your hands without setting things on the counter, that's ideal. And I believe your instructions say to take a mill, but um, the exact amount doesn't particularly matter for this experiment. So we have our media in our dropper. This should be sterile. And then I have my lyophilized culture. And I'm just going to take the culture, get it so you can see this, and drop the liquid media into the culture. Okay. At this point, if you have to stop for a minute, um, just to readjust your hands, you can. Um, and from here, I'm going to use the same pipette because I haven't put it down. It's not dirty. It hasn't touched any other bacteria. And I'm going to pipette up and down in this culture and then transfer this whole solution back into the tube that I took the original media from. And this is where the E. coli bacteria will grow then for the next few days. So I'm going to lift up on the lid. I'm actually gonna set it like this. I am gonna set this down. I don't need it anymore. And so I don't have to be quite as worried about uh, keeping it uncontaminated. And then I'm just gonna pipette up and down to resuspend the bacterial culture in the liquid media. And then I have this here, set it down on the counter. Then I'm gonna take the broth when I find the right one. I'm gonna take the culture that I had originally taken from, rather than setting the cap on the counter, I'm gonna try and hold it between these two fingers while I hold the tube like this. And then I'm gonna pipette this culture back in and I'm gonna get up and down to make sure I wash as many bacterial cells from their original location into the culture because now this tube is my culture of E. coli bacteria. So that I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna loosen the lid in a minute because E. coli, e. coli want a little bit of oxygen exposure. Um, this uh, transfer pipette that I just used now has E. coli bacteria in it, so it is no longer sterile and I need to dispose of it, as well as the empty vial that the E. coli were originally shipped in. Um, so I'm gonna, for now, set that aside into my dirty area and I will dispose of that um, properly in a, in a plastic bag that's sealed tight uh, when I'm completely done. One other thing you wanna be sure to do and um, do it earlier, in fact, uh, it would have probably been good to do before I started transferring the culture, but I, I need to remember that I just put, for example, E. coli bacteria in this tube. And so you were also given in your kit a marker so you can take that out. Um, Sharpie would also work if you have a Sharpie at home that you would like to use. But this is good for labeling the test tube. And so I'm gonna write on here, E. coli. And I'm gonna write it twice because that time didn't look so good. I'm gonna write it actually on the paper here. So I just wrote E. coli so that I know that this is my culture of E. coli um, so that when future experiments call for E. coli, I know that I'm grabbing the right thing. Um, so that is how you resuspend your lyophilized bacteria into culture. And then the tubes will just incubate at room temperature like this. Bacteria like a warmer environment, um, usually between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius. Room temperature is about 25 degrees. And so that's okay. Do not put these in the fridge. They will not grow. Um, and so I recommend keeping all of your uh, grown cultures once you're done in your test tube rack, which I have not put together yet, um, and put it safely aside um, somewhere uh, in a room. If you have little ones or pets, make sure it's out of reach of them. Um, and then the bacteria will grow like this for the next couple of days. Once you are done resuspending all of your bacteria, you're done with lab work for the day. So then you just need to clean up. Um, one good way to dispose of all of your um, 
used materials, like uh, the transfer pipette and the tube that we just used would be to put in a plastic bag. Um, you can also add in this plastic bag your gloves when you take them off. You can take them off and loop them into each other, put them in the bag as well, seal it, and this is now trash. Um, as a final step, make sure you wipe down your working surface so that it's clean for uh, future activities. Hopefully that was um, helpful. Like I said, that is day one's worth of work. All you need to do is get your bacteria growing and then they sit and grow for a few days before further uh, experimentation is done.